grand opening of the $40 million Sportsplex Idaho was supposed to happen this summer. But don't hold your breath. Yeah, two years after fundraising began, the nonprofit project designed to help kids appears to be on hold. And the man behind it won't say where the project is heading or how much money he collected. Tonight, we look at what happened to Sportsplex Idaho in a Fox 9 investigation. Kids. That's who Sportsplex Idaho is supposed to benefit. There are over 50,000 kids just in the Treasure Valley alone that aren't playing sports. Not because they don't want to, but because they have nowhere to play. That was Carson Sofro when he first proposed Sportsplex Idaho in 2014. You could have concerts, you could have conventions, you could have state championships. Multi-tiered, world-class athletic fitness, performance, training center. Sofro was already part of a nonprofit called HSB Cares, providing basketball camps for kids. In September of 2014, he held a big fundraiser at the Stickle Center and announced his nonprofit would build the new sportsplex on 18 acres just south of Eagle and Eustick. Then the entire project seemed to go dark. This is the property that Sofro announced with great fanfare that he would be building Sportsplex Idaho. It was supposed to open, in fact, this summer. But as you can see, there's nothing here. The City of Meridian says Sportsplex never owned this property, and in fact, it was sold to someone else who's developing it for apartments. We wanted to talk to Sofro about what happened to the money he raised and the Sportsplex concept, but he told us he didn't want to talk about it because it might jeopardize future plans. It's the kind of answer the Better Business Bureau finds troubling. If you find a charity that is not willing to be transparent, that's a massive red flag that you need to do a lot more digging before you give your hard-earned money. We found it would be challenging to donate to Sportsplex Idaho today because most of their online efforts are two years old and have never been updated. The Sportsplex Idaho website is still under construction. Its Facebook page hasn't had an update in two years. And one web address at the end of a glossy video sends you to the menu for a Chinese restaurant in Chinese. If you are out doing your due diligence and investigation on a, on a nonprofit and all of a sudden links are broken on websites or they send you to places that they shouldn't go, those are red flags. Perhaps Sofro will surprise everyone with another big announcement two years after he began on this journey. If he is, he won't say. But so far, there's no indication he broke any laws. No. Where we see uh, something becoming illegal is when a charity refuses to file its Form 990 or when it is fudging the books. We found the 990 for 2014, the year of the fundraiser. HSB Cares took in almost $124,000 that year. Total expenses amounted to $69,000. What happened to the rest? The document doesn't say. So we should point out that in previous years, the IRS reported that HSB Cares had gross receipts of less than $50,000, so a big difference in 2014. So you actually talked to Sofro, but he did not want to go on camera for this. So he did not where, want to go where on is camera. he? What is he doing? Right. Well, he's still working with HSB Cares, which does those basketball camps. And I've talked to some people who are, have their kids in those camps, and they're very pleased with them. Oh. So he uh, is continuing to do that. The question is... What's going to happen? What's going to become of the concept of Sportsplex Idaho? We still don't know. And is there any money actually missing? We don't really know. Don't know at this point. Uh, it looks like it's accounted for in assets for HSB Cares. Uh, what will be done with that money, though, we don't know. Okay.